Good afternoon. I'm Assistant Chief Michael Igo. I command the Tactical and Special Operations Bureau, and under that falls the Traffic Department. Today we're here to announce a new partnership between law enforcement agencies across the Metroplex, the North Texas Road Rage Task Force. Public safety, traffic safety, is the priority for the Dallas Police Department. We're always working at ways to make our roads safer for those who travel them, and this task force aims to do just that. Over the last several years, police departments across the country have seen an increase in the number of road rage incidents. Here in Dallas, it's happening not only on our freeways, but also on the streets that connect directly to the roads where people live and work. Unfortunately, aggressive driving has become commonplace, and that driving is leading to aggressive acts. The incidents have resulted in crashes, deaths, and violent crimes, including aggravated assaults and homicides. Since last year, the Dallas Police Department has worked to address speeding and racing, aggressive and reckless driving, violence offense prevention, and impaired driving within the city through several public safety initiatives. But the city of Dallas is not alone in dealing with an uptick in this type of crime. Talking with other law enforcement agencies in North Texas, it became quite clear that we are all having the same type of problems on our roadways. Knowing the benefits of proactively sharing information, intelligence, and resources, we knew we would be stronger when working together on this issue, and this task force was born. I would like to introduce Major Mark Villarreal, who will talk more about the makeup of the task force, our partners, goals, and the great work that has been done so far. Mark. Thanks, Chief. As Chief mentioned Mark Villarreal over the Tactical Operations Division. Anyone who travels our roads around the Metroplex knows Dallas area highways have become increasingly congested. And unfortunately, with drivers traveling at high speeds, more incidents of road, ra road rage are being reported. In an effort to change this behavior and trend, the Dallas Police Department has partnered with area law enforcement agencies in creating a road rage task force. And this task force is targeting those drivers who are speeding, driving under the influence of alcohol and or drugs, and driving aggressively. The task force is made up of members of the Dallas Police Department, Texas Department of Public Safety, Dallas Sheriff's Office, the Irving Police Department, the Mesquite Police Department, and the Grand Prairie Police Department. All are represented here today. This task force was started in late January and conducted our first operation on February 12th in each agency's jurisdiction. During the first operation, 333 total citations were issued, as well as 36 warning citations were given out. Officers made four DWI arrests, two felony arrests, three misdemeanor arrests, and recovered one stolen vehicle. Our second operation will be this coming Saturday, March 26th. Drivers should expect to see an increased police presence on roads to create safer freeways and streets in order to decrease the number of road rage victims. Now, before I turn it over to our other task force members, I want to give the public a few tips if they become involved in a suspected road rage incident. First, always allow an aggressive driver to pass. Second, do not follow an aggressive driver. Third, do not fight verbally or physically with an aggressive driver who's contacted your local authorities. I'm gonna now turn it over to our task force partners to discuss their agency's roles, and then we'll open it up for a few questions. Thank you. I'm Lieutenant Oscar Villadero with the Texas Department of Public Safety. Although the border is a huge priority for the state of Texas and especially the Department of Public Safety, we understand the importance of community and community involvement. As such, we try to balance those priorities with our home responsibilities. Bottom line, we haven't forgotten our home. We haven't forgotten our undertaking and what needs to be done here at home. Therefore, we've partnered with our local law enforcement partners across the North Texas region as one team with a common goal to make North Texas safer. In so doing, we ask everyone, every driver, not just in the North Texas area, but across the state of Texas, to do their part to make Texas safer. Slow down. Don't engage in road rage. Buckle up. Stay focused on your driving. And be safe. Thank you.
Good afternoon. My name is Rufino Salas. I'm a captain with the Dallas County Sheriff's Department. I'm the division commander of the Freeway Management Division, which includes the services of the Courage Patrol that you see on the roadways here in Dallas County. Uh, we're honored to be here today with uh, fellow law enforcement agencies to address the issue of road rage. Uh, it's been an ongoing thing since vehicles been on the roadway. Um, so uh, our commitment to this task force is to basically uh, tell our deputies that we're out there patrolling the uh, freeways and their districts to look for aggressive driving, uh, address it accordingly. Um, and, uh, you know, the idea for us to do this obviously is to make uh, the roadway safer for everybody. We want to make a difference. We want to try to prevent or reduce any incidents uh, escalating uh, to where they get into these serious matters. So that's kind of our goal. Um, and just so that everybody knows, the Sheriff's Department's area's responsibility, so places where you will see us, is, uh, and I've got to read the list so I don't forget anything, but uh, I-35 East from uh, the City of Farmers Branch City Limits to the United States 67 Split, Walton Walker Boulevard, and part of Loop 12 from Interstate Highway 35 East to the City of Urban City Limits, Interstate Highway 30 from the City of Grand Prairie City Limits to the City of Mesquite City Limits on U.S. Highway 80, from I-30 to the City of Mesquite City Limits, Spur 366, which is Woodall Rogers from Riverfront Boulevard to IH 345, IH 345 from Spur 366, Woodall Rogers to I-30, I-45 from IH 30 to US 175, US 175 from I-45 to the city of Seagullville city limits, and I-20 from the city of Grand Prairie city limits to the city of Bog Springs city limits. And those are the areas of responsibility the Sheriff's Department has. Thank you. Deputy Chief Franco Budo, Special Operations Bureau with uh, the City of Grand Prairie. First off, let me just say how proud Grand Prairie is to be part of this task force together with our neighboring agencies. We are going to deploy additional officers throughout our main thoroughfares to include Interstate Highways 20 and 30, State Highway 360, and President George Bush Turnpike. Officers will focus their efforts, their enforcement efforts, on drivers who are speeding, drivers who change lanes aggressively, drivers who follow too closely, and drivers who engage in any action that is aggressive and that we know leads to this problem of road rage. Grand Prairie last year had a little over 3,000 reported traffic collisions. Of these 3,000, about 1,000 reported injuries. Of these 1,000 reported injuries, 22 led to fatalities. Many of these collisions were the result of the aggressive tactics that we are going to be targeting. So our request to motorists is to not only adhere to traffic laws, but also just exercise some patience. so that we can reduce the number of traffic collisions and incidents of road rage. Thank you. Good afternoon, I'm Lieutenant Brandon Ricketts. I'm with the Mesquite Police Department. 
Aggressive driving and road rage incidents can affect anyone, anywhere, anytime. These occurrences can come whether you've been driving for 50 years or 50 days. and can involve you even if you're not a willing participant, but maybe the object of someone else's focus or anger. At the Mesquite Police Department, we've tracked data of road rage incidents from the previous five years in our jurisdiction. The patterns we observed in the number of incidents seems to rise in the spring months and decline in the fall months. Peak hours we've recognized for aggressive driving incidents are anywhere between 2 p.m. and 7 p.m., but 3 p.m. seems to be the peak uh, service times for us. <coughs> Days of the week, Fridays seem to be the highest day of the week for response to road rage calls for service. The majority of these incidents for the city of Mesquite occurred on our major highways 80, 30, and 635. Since joining the North Texas Road Rage Task Force, we've implemented measures in coordination with the partner agencies you see here to increase enforcement and visibility during coordinated times to enhance the safety of drivers and reduce these number of incidents from occurring. At the Mesquite Police Department, during enforcement periods, we increased the number of additional officers on the roadway, we placed additional signage and signboards along these routes to caution drivers against this address aggressive driving behavior and notify them of our increased police presence. We look forward to the continued partnership with the North Texas Road Rage Task Force and all these agencies represented here. The combined, efforts, the combined efforts will ensure safer roadways for everyone. Thank you. Good afternoon, I'm Officer Robert Reeves, the Public Information Officer for the Irving Police Department. The Irving Police Department is happy to participate in this North Texas Aggressive Driving Task Force. Uh, we will be deploying our two new aggressive driving unit uh, subdued vehicles to help in enforce any aggressive driving uh, DWIs that we see on the roadway during this time period as well. Um, we're participating in this because we are seeing a weekly occurrence where someone is either displaying a firearm or threatening someone with a firearm due to a road rage incident. Um, currently, we are trying to reduce our traffic fatality accidents, which are on a three-year high, where we're averaging a little over 20 fatality accidents a year. So we are going to have extra resources, officers that are working overtime assigned to this detail that will be working on this task force in an effort to try to make the roadway safer for this North Texas region. Thank you. guys I think that's uh, all the bit of the presentation we'll open up for some questions if you guys have any uh, I can't speak to what the other agencies do I know we have a separate report that we track our crime analyst track that we look at every day uh, to see kind of where the trends are at so but if you would like to ask any of the other agencies I'm not sure they do but they could probably answer the question Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, so Irving is working on adjusting our, our tracking and recording of the road rage incidences through our call center. Um, the, the reason for that and the reason for some of this aggressive driving task force is, is that we've seen a definite increase in violent aggravated assault and or murder cases that have come through in the North Texas region due to road rage. So that's why we're adjusting ours so that we can get a better tracking of those numbers. We just know that we're definitely seeing numbers on a weekly basis. No, we don't have separate investigators. Uh, this is just on the enforcement side of this part of the task force. We do have our detectives and crimes against person divisions that do investigate those as they do any other offenses that are similar in nature. Is it okay about the same decrease in violence? So, yeah, it's the same. She mentioned that uh, if the cameras on the highways record the same. 
instead of just uh, in his life will make a big difference. If she asked the DPS if there is a future, that would be a possibility that the cameras not only give life but also inform. You want to you talk about the cameras too for someone from DPS, Oscar? <laughs> Is that related to DPS specifically, or are you just asking in general? Is that related to, is that a question for DPS? Uh, well, the, the, the lady that we talked, she mentioned that is, uh, her husband was murdered uh, last year, and she thinks that if cameras were recording, that would be a better idea than who shot her husband, because her husband was in the highway. And, uh, they, and she mentioned that if in the future, would it be possible that the DPS cameras, instead of only feeding, Depending on the location of the camera, it makes the biggest difference. So on a case-by-case -case basis, not all of our cameras record, if you want to say cameras in general. Uh, for example, all the cameras that DPS has on the tollways do record. Um, some of your highway traffic cameras that don't belong to us, that I think they belong to TxDOT, those are live feeds for traffic monitoring, not set for recording. So big difference between TxDOT and Texas Department of Public Safety. So Is that TxDOT cameras record? No, Texas Department of Public Safety, the Highway Patrol. The cameras we have on the tollway record. Now, TxDOT monitors traffic live. That doesn't mean they don't record some or they don't have the capability to record. That's something you need to ask TxDOT. But I don't think they have a representative here today. Is that, is that clear? Yep. Okay. It's challenging um, because usually these things happen uh, within seconds and one party's driving off. Uh, if that party's able to get some kind of identifying information, a license plate, suspect description, um, we can hopefully follow up with it from our investigative standpoint. Um, but to your point, it's challenging. And just to address a further comment about the cameras. So the Dallas Police Department does use, utilize cameras. Uh, we have these positioned in those areas where we've seen high frequencies and road rage incidents. Uh, we won't release those locations, but we do have cameras in place. Uh, if any of the representatives we can find to do a disagree summary of what they just told us, uh, yeah. or can do it all on the side? Or yeah, okay, well, we'll, we'll take a break. Right. Right. So we'll do it at the end. Question. The point behind the task force, because a lot of people, I'm thinking, because I hear from my neighbors and the general public, that it doesn't seem like you could, you, anything happens, and that is kind of why this, it seems like people are being more aggressive. Is your focus on doing this to try to curtail and, and let people know you're going to be, you know, you may have been thinking, hey, I can get away with this, or, or what is your thinking? What's, what's the mission statement behind that? You know, we've, the department has several goals in. in regards to the task force as well. And uh, we want to try to curb the behavior is the number one goal. Um, we'd like to not always do that through enforcement. We'd like to do that as well through education. Um, but some of the other overarching goals is, is to look at increased legislation if possible for violent offenses occurring on our roadways. And it's everywhere, obviously, with this, this kind of turnout. You've been on the, with the department for a while. Is it just a perception that it's getting worse, or, or are the streets we got more people, less concrete? Is it is it growing? Well, I think I think you know there's several factors. Um, I think congestion is a part of it. Um, you know, we got more vehicles on our freeways than we've ever had before. It's leading to some tensions on our freeways. Um, obviously, the number one issue for the city of Dallas. Uh, with respect to our uh, accidents and fatalities is speed. Uh, so we need people to slow down. And that just that very thing alone will help uh, people drive more safely and be more safe on our freeways. Yeah, I think you look at the last census compared to the last cen this last census that came out and do those comparisons of the number of people living in the city, it's gone up. Speak up just for a little bit for me. Are you worried that the new criminal security laws are going to be more incidents of those being violent 
we are seeing more people with, with weapons in their vehicles, uh, especially on these arrests. Um, I, we haven't made a correlation yet whether or not uh, those are involved in the road rage incidents, but some of our arrests have uh, recovered weapons. There's traffic laws that you know pertain to unsafe lane changes, those type of things. The act itself of aggressive driving is not an offense, but it, it, what occurs during that time period that may potentially make it an offense, whether or not they're shooting at a vehicle, trying to run a vehicle off a road, causing contact with a vehicle. This ongoing task force. Thank you guys very much. Big favor. Did the press release have everybody's name and spelling? Uh, not, can we can get it to you. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that. Yeah, if you could just 